Welcome back everybody to Minecraft 1.13 in a brand new world. I hope you guys are excited because what can I say? I'm I'm very very excited. This has been a few months in the in the works and finally we're in it. So for people who are new, welcome. My name is Jancy and for people returning from our last series or from a long time ago, it is great to see you guys back here again. Enough of that. Let's let's go ahead and get started in in the the survival Minecraft stuff. It's it's actually it's kind of odd. So for people who don't know, we've got two previous worlds on YouTube and uh, oh, you can see some new recipes already. Going, getting started with some of this stuff is, it's just such a, a cool feeling to just get started in a brand new world. Uh, but as I say, for people who are new here, we are a, a building channel really. We love to build, we love to play Minecraft in survival mode and have a great adventure. And if you guys aren't familiar, we've got two previous series on YouTube, which have uh, have been our, our pride and joy actually. I've, I've really thoroughly, enjoyed playing survival minecraft and this is no different that's the reason why we've got this third world which is going to be absolutely awesome and uh, and i'm sure it's going to be a, a real good time so as i say for you guys who are new welcome good to have you guys here uh, so let's let's just quickly get some kind of an idea of where we're standing let's let's start with the game enough about that off the channel game time so we, we're currently standing on an island and you may ask how do i know that the way i know that is because I decided to choose a seed that will make sure that we do not get lost. We don't we don't have something that is is going to hold us back in the future that we have to travel out tens of thousands of blocks just to see something. So I I decided oh I would have a look at some good seeds and we would pick a seed together. And the seed that I chose and what most people chose now this could be our first bit of damage. So nailed it. No it won't be. <laughs> but the seed that I chose was seed number 3 from my seed selection video. So if a lot of people are looking for seeds, of course, we've got a video out there for you guys to check out. Uh, but this was the seed that we chose, which has a good a good bunch of things. For instance, icebergs, islands, just in general, islands, corals not too far off in that direction. And I've got a general idea of where I want to go in this world and, and what we want to do, which I think is still enough for us to have a, a real good, solid adventure and a good amount of exploration because I haven't, I haven't explored this world very, very thoroughly. So that's what we can do over here. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's this island which we spawn on, which is sort of an island. It's got a few little land connections, but it's mostly an island. I mean, dig a, dig up probably five blocks and we'll probably have an island showing here. But uh, other than that, let's quickly talk about some of the cool things with the series. And while we do that, hopefully we'll be able to come across... In fact, let's go down to the south because we'll have more water to go and explore because this is, of course... 1.13 update aquatic the good times uh, so of course let's go down south and we'll wrap around this island see what we can see and enjoy also the the icebergs from this spawn because i mean hey it's a, it's a very different spawn we may as well make that a make that a feature of this world so can we go i think no this yeah we can cool perfect we'll get one of these and oh make this is this over here maybe we should keep this we'll take this we'll pick it up and this will be our first crafting table. I, I never really do stuff like this. Keep something special. Last time in my world, I well, I, I guess kind of. I, I remembered the date, the very minute, very second we started the world. This time I remember the first crafting table. We'll keep this one safe. Uh, so <laughs> very important stuff, as you can imagine. So we'll go around here and, and maybe just see if we can see any ruins. We'll go and swim down to them. If not, we'll we'll make our way to the mainland. I would, I'd like to get started in the mainland to begin with. What is going on? Yeah, yeah, you, you sit there, buddy. <laughs> you sit there. Uh, so as I was saying, there, there are a few cool things which are going to be slightly different in this world from the last world. So mostly, uh, our building is going to still be kind of like a, a fantasy, hopefully even more fantasy. Oh, turtles. I didn't even realize turtles spawned in the cold biomes. That is really cool. I hope they I hope they don't hurt us, but I'd like to. Oh, yeah, swim. Let's check. Yeah, these, these guys are, are pretty neat. All right, we'll, we'll just go back to the boat. I just wanted to check them out. And actually, let's just do this. Get our, get our breath back. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I mean, listen, <laughs> I'm getting so distracted here. Uh, but some things that I would like to be able to at least... Um, is, there, is there a chest in here? I don't see any chest. Okay, we've been bamboozled. We've been bamboozled. Quick, get out. <laughs> We're probably going to take a little bit of damage. No, we made it. Beautiful. So a few things that are going to be different for the one millionth time is that we are going to be taking this taking this easy. So there are, there are a few things that I left in the last world, which I really kind of, it kind of bugged me a little bit. So building extremely large, ex like extremely spread out, 
we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be building a lot more tight knit, a lot more detail in our builds. And I, I think that's something that I made a mistake with in the last world, which of course we're going to have a good time over here. And in terms of the, the survival parts of it, there are a few things in survival which we maybe are negotiable. Uh, for instance, fire tick. I've always played with fire tick on. I think maybe we can take a break from calculating <laughs> distances of, of blocks. And, and I think it can only improve our builds. And really, I mean, we've, we've, we've definitely proven to ourselves we can handle it. You know what I'd love to know is just how much stuff underneath this water there is that we could be exploring that I'm just not noticing right now. I mean, it's, it's pretty dark out that way. And there's a little bit of a cheat way. You can see through <laughs> through the horizon over there what's going on. But if I think this is the mainland. We'll, we'll just keep going. I'm pretty sure there's a village just around here, which I think will be pretty cool to start with. But you know what? Hopefully it's not. It throws me off completely. And then we can, <laughs> we can find ourselves lost for what we want to do. Also, uh, there are, by the way, in, in this world, a lot of biomes, for instance, the coral and uh, this one over here in the water, which are going to be awesome for us to just go around and explore. I think they'll be good that we don't have to travel out too far. That's an in Oh, there's the village there. That's a very interesting mountain range. I, I like that a lot. It's very, very cool. And by the way, this over here is one big island, which is something that's super cool. And I actually forgot about uh, that. Well, I didn't realize that until just then that we were right next to the big island. So here we go. Let's let's make land. Let <laughs> that was the update aquatic guys. Great to have you guys here. And now let's go on to the land. Either way, you know what? I, I think this update has got something even better than the oceans. It brought us so many beautiful blocks for us who who like to build the world, build in our world and, and make it pretty, maybe do some cool things. That's what we've got. We've got some cool blocks to explore. And here is a cool village to explore, which as you can see, has got a blacksmith. Uh, I really like this. In fact, I, I, I looked at this before in a video and I thought it was rather cool that we had a, a little mountain over here, or a little hill, more like it. I, I really would be exaggerating if I said mountain, but having this little hill over here is, is really cool. Now, first thing to check, we've got two main things. And also, by the way, we've got a texture pack. If you guys don't know my texture pack, it's super vanilla. As vanilla as possible, just fixes up a few things that I don't like. For instance, the the uh, radioactive <laughs> colored, uh, actually, we'll go in here. The radioactive colored, that is good. That is a good start. Give me all those, please. Ooh, ready getting ahead of it. We'll, we'll just move this over to there. And uh, for the last time, the radioactive colored crops. Now, the next thing we have to do is we've checked this out. We have to really, which was the first thing that I didn't actually finish, is look for a librarian in the village. Because if we can get a librarian and hopefully with mending, man, how great of a start would that be? But uh, you know what? I've had so many lucky starts in Minecraft. I, I think, I think, I, I can't count on it, but <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's just going to be a rule that it keeps carrying on there. Nope, 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 nope. Can't see any unless the last house, last two houses. Now you are, I think, a butcher, right? Yeah, a butcher. All right, cool. So what I was thinking, this is my plan at least, and we've, I, I should really not run too much. Let's go get ourselves some sheep. I saw planes over here. We can maybe get some sheep so we can sleep the first night away, which is always a good thing if we can find some sheep. Um, no sheep. Oh, there's some sheep up there. So if we can sleep the first night away, there is a pro survival tip for myself. Get, get a bed. The next thing is going to be, I want to get some wood and we've got dark oak, we've got birch, we've got oak. I think that's a, that's some good stuff. So we can get ourselves a starter house made today. And most importantly about this starter house, actually we'll just, sorry sheep, you're going as well. Uh, we, we need the food. Uh, the most important thing about this starter house, I think will be that it's, it's something we can get started with that's simple. I don't want to be, I don't want this stuff to be too crazy, but I still want it to be all right. And, and look good, at least. We can maybe keep it for a while. And if you guys don't know me, I, I do love, love my building a lot. <laughs> like, I really do. So prepare yourselves. It's it's gonna it's gonna make this world look real good. And of course, if, if uh, while we're at this, and the two-headed villager. Are these both the same? Armorer? And how do I separate these guys? I wonder if they've they've spawned in with the same stuff. I, I, need, to, I need to figure this out. So let's make ourselves a piece of coal first. Uh, it'll, it'll burn just the one. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is, uh, actually, will this burn just the one? Yeah. So if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, of course, we've got a world tour for the last world, which will give you some idea of, of what we could be doing in this world, which I think will be will be a good bit of insight for you guys. Now, I, I wonder if these guys are stuck. Let's leave them. I'm not going to worry too much about them. And let's, while we while we wait for that, we'll put down our, our crafting table. We'll put it in the blacksmith because it's an easy house to remember where we're at. 
Okay, and I'm, <laughs> I'm still in the habit of going for my, my axe on number two. So let's just do that over there. Make ourselves a bed and we will be safe for the first night. That's a, that's a very lucky thing. And we'll put it in this, in this one over here. Perfect. So yeah, we've got a world tour if you guys wanna check out our previous world. And besides that also, if you, if you guys are new to the channel, as I say, it's a warm welcome to you. And, and also the fact that we are all, we, we stream on Twitch. So if you guys don't know about that, if you wanna figure out what's going on in our last world or, or just follow us uh, on the live stream at least, uh, Twitch is the place to be checking us out. So we are kind of lucky in the, oh wait, not there, uh, with the fact that we have managed to get ourselves iron. So I'm gonna do that because we're gonna be chopping down trees. I want to keep, I want to keep myself away from wood as much as, po uh, from uh, stone as much as possible this, in this series. I've, I've made it so, so much, well, I've made so much, <laughs> so much stuff with wood, uh, with stone, dang it, uh, that I want to, I want to turn to wood and make a lot more wooden things. I want to mix up the block palette a bit and I, I think, I guess we're getting started here. Let's, let's try and transform for our first episode. We're gonna transform this into a beautiful house. And by beautiful house, I am pretty sure we could get it. I'm pretty confident with our, with the time we've got here. So one rule, let's see how much wood we can gather in one day. I'm gonna go chop down birch, oak, and dark oak. Let's get to it. And a successful day we just had. It's coming to a close. You can see we might actually just get some mobs spawning around here, which could give us, despite having a bit of rotten flesh, it could give us an opportunity to get ourselves our first uh, our first uh, achievement for that, but what is it? Uh, mob something? I don't know. Either way, we, we had a great day, and I'll, I'll quickly explain to you what's happened. I've got a bunch of dark oak, which is going to be awesome. I've got a bunch of, uh, well, not actually too much. I've got 61 oak logs, which is a, a very good start. And, and might I just add, I said I don't think we are too lucky now not getting a, a mending villager, which I think is a pretty, a pretty, big, uh, a pretty big ask. But realistically, we've started with iron tools. That is a very, very big... Actually, hey, cartographer, how you doing, man? Thought you were a mining village, or a librarian, but that's all right. You, you come out there. I'll hold the door. Uh, but yeah, either way, that's a that's a very successful day, and I didn't even realize that. I, did, I didn't actually... <laughs> I didn't actually notice that, that that was a great, great uh, thing to be... to have there. So we've got a few cool things, and most importantly, one, two... What is that? One, two, three, and a bit stacks of dark oak. We got spruce. I had... I actually realized just on the other side of the dark oak biome, there is a spruce biome. So I've managed to get a spruce sapling, which is fantastic. Well, two actually. So we'll drop them there just in case we need them. Because, man, everybody's favorite trapdoor is a spruce trapdoor. You, you can't deny that. That is fantastic. So let's just get started. I, I'm, I'm thinking this blacksmith, because, of course, we've got fire tick turned off at the moment. Which, as I say, it's negotiable. So... It's negotiable. We'll change some stuff up, uh, but a uh, fire tick is turned off. So I think I, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't even cause us a, a bit of grief here, but what? Oh, have these guys just spawned frost walker? Okay. That's not really too cool as, as, as awesome as frost walker is as an enchantment. It's really not that useful. It's actually more, more of a pain in the butt than anything to be completely honest. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is, uh, we've, we've, we're going to be doing a lot of cool things around the world, being building villages and and taking a taking a, a smaller approach to building. I guess is the word. Now I've got a question for you guys because I know there's a, a lot of avid builders out there and people who just like seeing stuff in Minecraft. What is something that you guys absolutely love that you guys either see a lot and tell me if you see it a lot in Minecraft or you never see it at all? What is something you'd love to see in terms of a village? Because of course, this is the very start of the world. So if you guys get a cool idea right now, uh, it, it could very well be built very, very shortly. If not, I've got a bunch of stuff. Let me tell you, a bunch of things that because obviously having some very big projects, which hold me back from really doing some of the, the cool bigger project, the cool smaller projects where I can get some some little details and stuff. What are these guys doing? You guys are freaking me out here, crowding me up. Uh, we we we've basically have now got free reign to just do whatever we feel like, and, and that's going to be really cool. So any ideas you guys have, I'm I'm all ears. I'd love to hear it. Actually. Yeah, you know, let's let's do it. Let's let's go crazy. Let's do a little bit of that. What's that? One, two, three. Do a fourth one. You take actually our first half a heart of death. I think I'm pretty sure of death, not death of the damage. Not that bad. Come on, Jancy, calm down. There we go. Beautiful. And by the way, to explain, oh, I gotta keep remembering. I don't have feather falling anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, to explain the the rotten flesh, a zombie almost attacked me, and I didn't even have my mob sounds turned up enough to have heard that zombie. How crazy is that? By the way, pet peeve of mine. Where you, you see, you see there's a little, oh. What, how did I get, wait, what? How did I just get, oh, a cobblestone. Okay, that explains it. I thought it was for the tools. You see there, 
that little pixel of of stuff that gets shown out when you have a path block. That's my pet peeve. I can't I can't stand that. You know what we can actually do? Um, yeah, we can maybe maybe go out one more. In fact, no no no, we'll we'll keep it small. We'll keep it narrow. This is a this is a starter house, Jansen. You you can't get too crazy here, man. Uh, but yeah, what 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 we are doing with this is I'm just gonna go for a, a simple style that you guys can follow along with if you guys are starting in your own world or maybe even starting in this world. I mean, hey, we've got we've got the seed, we've got the well, future world downloads will be in the description, but not right now. Uh, but that'll that'll be in the description. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff in the description if you guys want to get your hands on the texture pack. Which, as I say, it, it changes a few of the things from vanilla. Maybe a few things, for instance, the leaves. Those are some of the new texture, the new default, the, the future default texture leaves. There's a, a whole bunch of, of little changes. Uh, the water, of course, many people will probably pick up that that's slightly different. Uh, not a very big change, but I just, I like the, I like the lighter colored water that we have over here. It just, it livens up the area a lot. So, of course, if you guys are in the market for a, a, a fairly subtle vanilla texture pack, I'm your guy, all right? <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's in the description as per, as per the usual. So, this over here is actually going to be quite a skinny house. And, by the way, birch is now a beautiful block. Look at this. Look at that. Now, birch, finally, I mean, not the not the birch blocks, but the, these over here are absolutely gorgeous blocks, and I, I love them so, so much. They, uh, there was something I've been messing around with. Just one of the first few things I've actually messed around with in 1.13 is this birch, and I love it so much. Look at that. It's, it's not too dark, not too light, somewhere in between. In fact, I think the oak is very similar to it. But I want to use birch because I never give birch enough love. And, and really, do, do we ever? Do we ever give birch enough love? Spruce and oak, I say. That's, those are the two that that really, really see, uh, see as much love as, as the rest. So let's do that. There, that, there. I wasn't actually thinking about this, but we'll, we'll mess around with it soon. And then we'll go in there. Move that one over. And what I'm thinking with this is we can maybe do... Maybe do like a, a, a double story thing where actually I probably should pull that out one, but that's right. We'll we'll enter in on this level, the blacksmith. We can go up, get uh, a bit of storage up here, maybe even storage down the bottom. We'll see how we go. But either way, I think it'll just be a cool shaped house to have up there. Maybe maybe just a bed up there to start off with. It's it's a good symbol starting your own your first house. That's the thing. It's more of like a symbolic thing that finally you've 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 started the series. You started the world. You've got a place to say, a place to call home. I think that's always a, a good a good psychological thing to get right. So let's do this and let's go ahead, bring our very first crafting table. Good, I don't have it in a stack. I made another one a bit earlier. Our very first crafting, oh wait, it's downstairs here. We'll take this one upstairs so that we, we've got something to, something to work with. What, these guys are all, these guys are, I feel like I'm gonna build this house and everyone's gonna be in this house. Must be, they, mu they must realize that must be an update in 1.13. Villagers now realize a cool build when they see it. So let's do that. We'll go three of them because I know I'm going to use these. And spruce trapdoors. As I say, everybody's favorite trapdoor. So this over here is actually the middle of the wall because it goes one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. And let's do a bit of this. I'm pretty sure the oak will be the best block for the for this job because I think the oak actually matches up quite well with this color over here. I have a hunch. I have a hunch. Okay, maybe not as much. <laughs> maybe not as much as if it was an oak one there. But I think it matches up pretty well. Let's do that and then, well, I guess we actually need more of these up here. So we'll, we'll just steal two of these for now. I want to get the front piece done so we don't have to worry too much about other stuff. Listen, that's my block. Thank you. And around here, we'll go up there, there, and just get this front piece sorted out so we can see something pretty to, to start the series off with. And then a good little trick. Here's, here's a trick. Listen. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> these guys, I'm telling you, these guys, what, what are we going to do with them? So what we need to do here, actually, that's way too many, but that's all right. What we need to do here is make ourselves some dark oak fences or any, any fence for that matter. And this is a good way when you haven't smelted up any glass to make a cool little window. And, and of course, we can make a super simple window. This is something I, I do fairly often, this little design. It's, it just works so darn good. You've got, got the oak. So while well, the stairs in there, you can go one, two, three with the slabs. Listen, slab, get your stuff together. In fact, I could even go with uh, a bit of spruce over here. Could work quite well. Those in there, and we don't have to take damage. Let's just jump down. In fact, it's probably getting close to nighttime. Oh, it's, it's only over there. Look at that. That is beautiful. This, this today, guys, I said, listen, we might not be lucky, but I think this is a great start. Finally 
getting our house together here. This is this is gonna be good. We uh, I feel like there's gonna be villagers running up there. Let's go get ourselves a little bit of a little bit of birch as well. So as I say, oh, don't forget the the question of the question of the series really. What is some villagers you guys would love to see? Maybe start off with. Uh, I mean, I never do a hashtag. Do you guys work it out in, in the comments? But maybe just tell me what you guys would love to see, and I'll, I'll put it on a list. And we can have a whole bunch of things that we can build in this world because, of course, the last series went for 150 episodes, not 151, 150 on the dot. Definitely not an extra one. <laughs> and that that one, I had so many cool ideas, and uh, we've got so many places where we can build those. And I, I think just having a bunch of ideas from the comments because. Of course, this is a, a YouTube series. We can we can all build this world together because we all kind of have our own little belonging in this world, our own investment in the world. And, and I think that'll be super awesome to, to be able to do that together. I just want some more birch here. How much do we have? 16. Of course. Of course we do. And I, I, I'm thinking this could be a cool challenge, all right? We have started this world with absolutely no wooden or stone tools. Now, just bear that in mind. That's a very rare start that you manage. Well, I mean, I suppose, honestly, anyone could do it if you just search until you get lucky with the iron. But I feel like this could be a good challenge. Let's just try and see how long we can last without having to make an oak. Uh, well, a wood or... Oh, that's a cool little floating island. Uh, a wooden or a stone tool. Let's see if we can keep it iron and diamond the whole way through. And I know what someone's going to say. Someone's going to be like, hey, Jancy, why don't you use just iron? No. We'll use diamond as well. Sneaky buggers. Actually, I guess we could use gold. If we get gold, we're actually all right. So sun looks like it's going down. I'll, you know what? Tell you what, guys. You guys get the picture. I'm going to put a roof in here. Simple roof, simple build, simple start to the world. And I think it's going to be a beautiful little place for us to stay in. So I think the sun's about to go down. I'll just chop down more spruce and more spruce, birch, birch, and we'll spruce up the place. How about that? Now, can I ask myself, why do I make myself a challenge? The clip before I end up realizing I needed to <laughs> needed to make some tools. So we've gone a little bit short on our uh, our diamond, not diamond. What is this? Iron, <laughs> iron axe, which is a horrible thing. So it turns out we did need it, and I was completely wrong. Let's grab that. I, I decided we should probably light up the area before we get creeped. We haven't had a run in yet, and I do not plan on it. But uh, you know what? It's probably going to happen. So here we go. We've got ourselves a little bit of a place to look at. I'll go step out back here, and I want to show you guys, introduce you guys to our brand new house. Nothing too spectacular, but it's a good start. It's a, it's actually an interesting little start. Something which I haven't done, but I've always wanted to do is go ahead and and uh, adjust a village. Let's, let's say that way, adjust it, maybe upgrade a few things, do some interesting little things. Hey buddy. And besides that, I've just got a whole bunch of inspiration just recently on, on People who do just that, making some crazy stuff in villages. Are we completely out of uh, of this good old stuff, spruce? Or maybe no, we're not. We're not good. I had the, I had a hunch. All right. So what I want to do is we want to make this place more homely. And and uh, what is what is quite homely? I think a door happens to be quite homely. In fact, I'm actually going to make just one stack of those. These can go into these because I'm going to use them at some stage, I'm sure. And what could be kind of useful. And, and I've also thought about this, so let's just do that there. There we go. There we go. So what could be quite useful is this over here is actually backing onto ground. So what we'll probably do is put all of our chests down in this room. We'll have the top story where we'll put our bed. We'll put a, maybe a, uh, we've got the furnaces downstairs. Maybe like a crafting bench, maybe something else we could do up there. We'll see what we do. Maybe if we, if we go to the nether, well, when we get to the nether, we can get ourselves some a brewing stand and stuff like that. So here's another rule, by the way, for this world, which, as I say, I want to avoid rules and, and as much stuff as what we did in the last world. Uh, but one thing I do want to do is I don't want to be traveling so far through the, the nether because we've gone so far throughout the overworld. So that's one thing which I would really hope we can we can stick to and, and not to go too crazy on. So let's just do something like that. No, that's not going to work. Uh, I said I would do it. Listen, villagers, you guys are... Oh, breaking my flow over here. That was close. That guy almost did it. He almost got me. You're not going to get me today, villager. Not today. Here we go. Here's a simple way of doing it. That in there, like that. And then we'll just put these around here like this. There, there, there. Beautiful. And of course, because I had to call it a little bit early on the, the, the birching, we don't have any birch for that. But that's all right. Looking good. Good start. And if we go down here another great little piece down the bottom here. So 
that, by the way, took one day. And I think that one day was our third day in the world. Let's quickly do a quick Java update. Day four, oops, maybe one day too many. Maybe one day extra, but that's all right. You know what, guys? We'll go ahead and uh, and call it a day over here because I think we're, we pretty much got started. We've been, we've just got started in Minecraft 1.13. How crazy is that? So hopefully you guys are as, as excited as I am for this series because trust me, it's going to be a great series. We've had two great series. We're going to have a third. So I'm very, very excited for this. And let me get, let me know if you guys are, are have got any ideas, of course, always welcome. And also how excited you guys are down in the comments. And also if you did enjoy it, of course, liking is always appreciated. But thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. And I'll see you very, very soon.